Four days and eight hours left to complete the Underpriest of Brogni Fusion. Hopefully, you guys are still on track. Hopefully, you've been following my advice since the beginning, but you still have a handful of things left to do, about three really important things left to do, and you cannot screw this up if you want to complete this fusion as free to play. Before we cover today's topics, let me remind you guys that I stream on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Friday nights, so make sure you show up for the fun. We do try and provide some account help as much as we can, but also we do giveaways on here. Recently, we just had a really fantastic account to give away. This time, it is going to be gems, so if you want to show up to use your free loyalty points, which you get every 10 minutes, you can then convert those into tickets for the giveaways. So yesterday, we had two major things to finish or to focus on, the first one being the spider toy. Tournament, that was pretty easy. I was already almost done at the beginning of the day. So I got this done real quick. And then I was able to start working on the champion training tournament. But then we also had the artifact enhancement event, which has proven to be harder than the prior ones. In fact, harder than all the previous fusions. I'm not really surprised by this, as I said in yesterday's video, but I did manage to complete it for less silver than i thought i would have to use so i got it done for about 11 million silver i even went a little bit over with extra silver but i got this done by using one of the methods i uh, talked about before which was basically kind of just doing a little bit of a cleanup at the same time so where do we stand with our fragments after all this time we got skimfos at 85 we have mordecai at 85 but i will not get more of mordecai because i pulled him we got fenshi still only at 65 and giscard I was able to fuse which means that we're pretty much on track to almost complete this guy but here is the updated plan which should help you determine if you are still on track so 30 fragments of skimfos as of yesterday bring the grand total to 345 we updated the value for the total amount of silver used for the third artifact enhancement event and here's uh, something that's interesting I managed to complete it for less than the second one because I used one of the methods that I talked about in the artifact enhancement event cheating and that was basically ranking up up to eight and then selling a few pieces as I was working on uh, finishing a build. Then we also tweak the total amount of energy needed. I increased it by a little bit for the um, champion training tournament, which we are working on right now. Then all the rest is basically complete except the dungeon divers event. So here's what I want to cover. Three really important things that you guys do not screw up. And the first one is the potions because I literally just did this mistake. I don't know what I was thinking yesterday. Probably wasn't thinking actually I ended up using my potions to finish a build or to work on a build and that is Yoshi and so all those potions were actually required for me to complete this fusion as free to play that means that as of tomorrow I have to farm these uh force keep potions right but hopefully now by now sorry you guys have realized that there is no way to complete this fusion while having to farm the potions the only way this was doable with free to play energy was if you were well prepared enough so if you still don't have all the potions that you need you now have only one day left for each of the keeps to go and farm them the second thing you do not want to screw up and it will lead me to the third one is the fact that you have to complete your champion training tournament today 4200 points was a nice surprise but if you want to have enough leftover free to play energy for the remaining events you have to complete this today it should technically be doable especially if you have chickens and brews but if you feel you don't have enough energy saved up you might want to start using a lot of brews today and you can always go back to the method that i talked about where you basically use sort of like 70 mystery shards with 48 brews you rank all, all of those up to uh one rank three one rank four champion basically and then you get 528 points so if you don't do that then you will have to finish this tomorrow and if you are like me and you've only been using the free-to-play stuff here's the third thing that it might screw up for you is the dungeon divers event all right so as of today i'll be about at 2150 points pretty much all my free-to-play energy has been used so far but i will then require about 1500 milestone points to get to the last one which is the fenchy here at 3600 the problem with a dungeon divers event is if you're farming food in the campaign you are not getting a lot of points here at all if you really want to maximize this you need to be doing a level 20 dungeon and if we take the free-to-play energy that we will be getting over the next two days which is all you have left you basically only get about 
1900 give or take a little bit but you're only getting 0 0.75 points per energy spent in a level 20 dungeon which means that this is cutting it very very close so guys don't screw this up it might be harder for you guys if you are not in one of the level 20 dungeons all right so if you're doing anything below it's even less points so don't get caught off guard by this the final stretch this can easily be missed and i wouldn't want you guys to miss out on the fusion after all of this effort so i want to know in the comments below where you guys are at are you still on track are you about to complete this guy have you spent so far here's a quick recap of the energy that i still have saved up and why i'm not spending all this saved up energy it is because this is sorry to compensate for the content creator perks which i get a thousand energy free per week thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys later